Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Stone Final Fantasy VIII. In the last episode, we uh, boarded the White Seed ship and uh, talked to them and found out that Alone is actually an Esthar. So uh, let's go to Esthar. Okay, so to get to uh, to get to Esthar, we're actually going to want to go to Fisherman's Horizon because we can't get there uh, in Balan Garden right now. It's it's pretty much impossible to get there because uh, there's like they said, there's like mountains and stuff like that, just obstacles in the way. Anyways, when we go to uh, Fisherman's Horizon, we'll uh, get cut to. Squall picking Renault up on his back like a backpack. Alone will bring us together. Come on, corpse. <laughs> Hop on my back. Sorry, everyone. I can't go on like this. Okay. So Squall is going to take Renault. It's a bit far, but we'll make it. Okay, so I guess we get to walk with Squall and Renault. Uh, through Fisherman's Horizon. If this is all we... Okay, it's getting dark, I guess, as we walk. Is that how... That's how long it's taking? Is that the sun is going down it's taking so long for him to fucking walk with her? Because that's what it feels like. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I don't know why Squall has gone crazy and he's going off by himself, but he's walking along the tracks, which is the only way to get to Estar right now. It's pretty far didn't think it would be this far. Yeah, you're pretty dumb. What am I doing? Go to Esthar. Find Alone. Talk to Alone. But there's no guarantee that everything will be resolved if I talk to Alone. Even so, I'm... I... Sure have changed. <laughs> yeah, you sure have, Squall. You used to be a lot more intelligent. <laughs> Is that like a star in the sky? That's pretty cool. Some, I don't think it's a star, but it's like some sort of something. I wonder what everyone's doing. They're probably laughing at me. Or maybe they're angry. What do you think? <laughs> ah, that's right. You're in a coma. To tell you the truth, I worry too much about what others think of me. I hate that side of me. That's why I didn't want anyone to get to know me. I wanted to hide that side of myself. I hate it. Squall is an unfriendly, introverted guy. It made it easy for me when people perceived me that way. That's a secret between you and me. Got that? Guess let's pick her up. Or talk to her. Or something. Renoa. <laughs> Renoa! And I guess we don't get explained what we don't get that star type deal explained to us. I guess not yet. Hmm. And back at Oh wait, there's Zell and Quistus. Squall, you're late. Is the princess still asleep? <laughs> she might wake up with a kiss from the prince. Is that why you came all the way out here? To tell me that? You're going to Esther, right? We're coming too. We're ready as escort. That's right. Edie is here. Look at her like shift or not shift shuffle, that's the word I was looking for. Shuffle over here. <laughs> Let us be on our way, Squall. <clears throat> yeah, so uh Edie is like kind of in our party now. We shall leave as soon as we're ready. Well, I'm ready. What business do you have in Esthar? I must go see Dr. Odin, or Odine, or whatever the fuck. Hmm. <laughs> Dr. Odin? Uh, you've heard his name, right? Uh, I, I can't remember. Tell me more, sure. Tell me more. You know the famous Odin brand, don't you? That's all Dr. Odin's work. When it comes to knowledge about the sorceress, he's number one. Thanks. Uh, so why do you need to see this doctor? Sorceress Altamesia is alive. She is able to take control of my body at any time. If that were to happen, I would once again bring terror. I, too, value my well-being. I want to protect myself. If it were possible, I would like to rid myself of the sorceress's power. Dr. Odin may know a way. He may be able to save me. Okay, I understand. Let's all go to Esther. Yay! Yep, so we got Backpack Renoa again, and here comes Selfie and Irvine. Yo, the back! Uh, the two of them went to take a look. 
How's it going, Squall? Is Renoa still asleep? Psst, psst. Renoa's so cute when she's sleeping. Whatever. <laughs> so how is it? Can we make it to Esthar? Woo, are you blushing? <laughs> Selfie don't make Squall angry. Come on now. <laughs> that stuff's on this corner, right? It's supposed to be huge. I don't know why, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. Couldn't find it up north or down south. Let's try going east next. Yeah, and look, we get Edia. This is the only time in the game that you can actually use Edia. So I suggest you do it. I'm going to have, whoops, I guess we'll have Edia be our magic user. Whoops, and, uh, uh, god damn it, shut up. Um, who else are we gonna have? Who, let's, um, um, uh, I'm not gonna do any battling, so I'm going to bring. Oh god, you know, I'm taking so long to decide. I'm gonna bring Irvine. I'm gonna bring Irvine. I'm gonna do it. Just no thinking, let's do it. Alright, so, uh, Irvine is Zell, Squall is Squall, and Edia will be Selfie. Sweet. Okay. Let's do this. Um, so I gotta make sure. I actually, I don't think I have it equipped right now. <clears throat> I'm gonna equip the, uh, excuse, sorry for that. <laughs> sorry for clearing my throat. I'm sure that was terrible to you guys. Uh, I'm going to equip the, uh, Encounter Nun dealy, because I do not want to fight anybody. Um, I do, however, want to make sure that Edia, aka Selfie, has, yeah, recover uh, ability, because we don't have selfies, uh, wow, look at that. <laughs> uh, we don't have selfies, um, limit break to, uh, do that. Is this the Great Salt Lake? Yeah, okay, that's, <laughs> that's what I thought. I was like, I'm, sh I'm pretty sure we don't have to run anywhere crazy. Hello? I don't see a city. But I do see, like, static in the background. Looks like we're in for a long trip. Everything will be alright. We'll be by your side all the way. Thank you, Zell. But remember, you must stay alert even in my presence. As long as I can be myself, everything will be fine. But if Ultimisia gets inside me again, you all know what to do. Yeah, kill you, right? <laughs> what, what? Did I miss something? Uh-oh, it's so quiet. The air's getting heavy. Guys, what's wrong? Come on, we're all together again. We're gonna bring back Noah. It's like a picnic. We're gonna have fun. Somebody once told me that if you mention bad things, they'll come true. I know it's a silly superstition, but right now I want to believe it. So let's not talk about it anymore. Yeah. What, we get to pick parties again? Apparently? I, I'm set, you fucking game. You a fucking guy. And everyone, look at that, everyone follows it. Look at, look, look, that's so creepy. They're all like little dolls. Meh. Alright, whatever, let's go. Let's go into, uh, Great Salt Lake in Utah. <laughs> yeah, it's close to Utah. But anyways, yeah, so I've got Encounter None, so we're not going to be dealing with any enemies, which is awesome. So let's run up this fucking dinosaur bone dealy, because, uh, there is something that we want to get up here. And it is hidden, but I know it's right here, and it's a fucking meteor. Um, so we would give it to Edia, uh, but her magic deal is full, so we're going to give it to Squall. And I don't feel like fucking around with magic anymore right now, especially with Edia here. I always get nervous when I have Edia in the party. I don't want her to steal any of my fucking magic or something like that, which she's actually highly likely to do. Man, damn, I forgot about that. She'll probably do that. Anyways, Thundaga, we're all set. Um, can we go down from here? press X to jump off. Yeah, cool. It's also like a shortcut, I guess. Awesome. So that worked out well. See the static in the background? It's, look at that shit. That's that's not normal. That ain't normal. Uh, yeah. So let's keep running through here. Yeah, look at this. We're at the wall, I guess. Or is that not a wall? It's like a, It feels like a wall in this video game. Should we go left or right? Let's go left first. Um, anything down her? Whoa! Okay, well... <laughs> that's what happens if you go left. <laughs> this is, uh... This is a boss, I believe. I'm pretty sure. It's the, uh, Abaddon, I think. Yeah, an undead monster. 
use recovery related magic and items. Yeah, this is like one of the only boss fights in the game where they actually tell you to uh, use, they tell you like what to do. But we're gonna, we're gonna heal ourselves first. Uh, can we draw anything good? We'll have Irvine draw it. What do we got? Stock. We can stock that too. What is it? What is it? I'm so curious. Flare. Interesting. Okay, well we're gonna spend some time drawing Flare and then I'll cut. Okay, now that uh, pretty much everybody's full on all the magic and stuff, I'm gonna have uh, Squall uh, keep attacking until we mug him. Or it. There we go, Power Wrist. Awesome. Okay, we're done with that. Um, uh, when he's in the stand-up stage, he'll cast magic. He'll cast mostly status magic, like blind and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so just either uh, draw and cast an Asuna off of him. As you can see, he's got Asuna and Kiraga, so you're pretty much set. Um, yeah, so just keep doing that. And uh, uh, when he, yeah, like sorry, like I was saying, uh, when he's standing up like that, he casts magic, and when he's uh, kind of crouching down, he'll do physical attacks. Uh, so uh, hopefully that. Uh, oh, he's doing both on Irvine. Okay, well that's fine because uh, Irvine would. Yeah, okay, good. We got treatment off first. Anyways, uh, this guy is an undead monster, like Squall said at the beginning of the battle. Uh, if you use recovery magic on it, it will uh, get the shit beaten out of it. So, pretty much, as you can see. Okay, there's his, there's his physical crouching stage. That's why we've got Edia with recover. Uh, because if we cast recover on this guy, it will do a shit ton of damage. As you can see, watch. Yeah, not too shabby, eh? <laughs> and then we can cast Kiraga. We can draw and cast Kiraga on him, which is pretty awesome. Let's see how much that does. Not bad. That might be. It. Oh wait, this this might kill him. Like the the battle will be over very quickly if you just heal him. Pretty much, Irvine's magic isn't that great, but it was enough to kill him. Whoa. That was a pretty cool uh, death animation, actually. Oh no, he's like fading somehow. <laughs> Sweet, alright. So overall, a very successful boss battle. We got a bunch of magic and stuff like that. Uh, we got 40 AP, awesome. Speed junction, sick! Okay, that's the first thing we're gonna do. Okay, first of all, we're gonna uh, have Cerberus learn something new. Uh, what you want to learn, Mr. Cerberus? Spirit. Fuck spirit. Speed. Speed! Meh! Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, and now that uh, we have that, we can actually junction Irvine slash Zell with, uh, with speed, as you can see there. We'll just auto-junction it. Uh, there we go, look at that. Oh, that's sick. And I guess we'll uh, do that to everybody, because everybody got new magic, so we'll auto-junction all that stuff. Uh, but make sure there's no, yeah, I don't want, like, Blazaga and that kind of stuff uh, on my elemental attack, just in case. Okay, cool, I did some magic shifting and stuff like that too as well. Uh, just clearing up space and whatnot, throwing uh, some, like, crappy magic. Oh, look, there we go. Here's the static we were looking for. Let's check this shit out. What is this? There's something here. Yeah, no shit. Whoa, that... That's weird. Is there a tunnel or something? This looks like the only way. Well, let's do it. Let's do it to it.